So we're starting, our first design is our Triceratops. It's very similar to our old Triceratops. Um, and the first thing we're doing is the um, base that we're laying down is our Fab Dolphin. And all of you should have the Fab Dolphin. This is the color that the show wants the um, Triceratops to be in. Now when you do this design, if you leave big gaps right here, then when you go to make your big horns later, your color won't bleed and you can move a lot faster. If you leave this blank, there'll be a lot crisper white teeth, horns, whatever. So Melina's gone right down on the nose. Shouldn't bother to go around the side of the nose. That's not necessary. Or I can if Ronnie scolds me and say I should have. <laughs> no, the, um, the show wants our, um, most of our designs to be primarily masks. The only one that's not a mask is our regular T-Rex full face. All right, so you're going to load your split cake. Right now we're using what we had on hand. It's not the, trip, uh, the true split cake you'll be making. Um, this is, what is this? London. London by Global. But and it's, I'm using it's... a three-quarter inch brush. So once your brush is loaded, you're going to start right here in the center, and you want your brush fairly straight. If you lay it down, you're going to end up wasting too much of your paint and have to reload too often. So you're just going to go and make a loop, another loop, just to the corner of the eye. Turn your head this Turn way. Turn your head sweetie. this way, honey. And again, like this, just to the corner of the eye. Have her turn that, turn this way, no, towards me. So she looped it over there. So you should be able to get through all those, those three loops without having to reload. If not, then you had too little paint on your brush or you were pressing too hard. So when we do the side, turn your head this way, you're gonna start here and you're just gonna do a shape, go in and out like that. And turn your face this way. And the same on this side, just gonna go in and out. So she wiggled it a little there. Yeah, it's a little wiggle. Get your wiggle on guys and mm -hmm. gals. Then from there, okay. So, um, with your brush still loaded, right from the t where the eyebrow starts, you're going to make a little half circle, like a little, from one eyebrow to the other is a good point of reference. Then, you're going to take a brush and we're going to do the horns. I just want to point out, when you have the correct one-stroke cake, you know, this, these edges are going to blend in together. The dolphin will It'll be on the inside, so you won't see that. Although it doesn't look that bad, but you won't see it at all when you have the correct cake, split, uh, one-stroke cake. All right, so we're going to do the horns. So like they come straight up. Nice, big, fat horns in the top. A filbert will make this pretty easy. We're going a little slower because we're videotaping it, but... Show them the filbert. It's you can use that. You can so use it or a bigger or one, whichever. Bigger one, yeah. yeah. And then the nose, just lay it down and go straight up. I just twist it. Then you want to take whatever dinosaur scaly stencil you have. These are the half-assed ones. There's a bunch of different ones that all tend to look like a dinosaur. Did you say half-assed? <laughs> you naughty girl. <laughs> and then you just want to put them, turn your head this way, honey, over this. I love star blends. I've always been a star blends girl. Yep, black star blends make the best. Well, it goes over, top. and it goes over wet paint a lot quicker, mm -hmm. so you don't have to wait for it to dry. And then just over, close your eyes, honey. Just some quick, it doesn't have to be, there's no rhyme or reason really. Just like that. And then the last thing left is to take your black. And now we're going to outline all of this. Now in real time, this goes really fast. And we can even do it too after to show you the real time of how quickly this goes. But That's a good idea. Yeah. So you just loop this. Now there's a little gap here, but if we were doing girly eyes, close your eyes and I'm going to make this one girly. You want to do the whole... Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna follow with the camera. And then this is has an opening, so you could give her three little eyelashes and fill in that gap. 
Do you want me to do this eye as like a boy eye? And then you just... Yeah, do one side boy eye. And it's really important, some of you um, already know the concept of thin to thick to thin, but um, thin to thick to thin outlining really adds depth and dimension and interest to your outlining as opposed to just doing one straight thick line or one straight narrow line. Now if you put your line here, it kind of just does the base of your horns without having to really outline them. Repeat on that side. Melina, with your brush, do you want to show them, just point out where, where it's thin to thick to thin, like on this arch here? You mean how we went thinner yep. and thicker Pressed and then let it and then, tra trailed yeah. off? And then now we're going to do her eye. So if this was the boy eye, it'd be that, that S shape. And what do I do if it was a boy? The girls, I wouldn't put the darkness on. But if it's a boy, I would take a little bit of star blends real quick and just put it in there because it's going to give that more angry, scary dinosaur look that the boys like as opposed to the really pretty girly ones that the girls like. And then you're going to just follow that around and then pull this up. Would you, you fill all that yeah. in though too? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you fill in your eye good. Okay. And so then see the difference? There's the boy eye and then the girl eye is more feminine and she can have her glitter. Mm -hmm. And then just a simple little thin to thick again. You can put some little creaks if you want on there, on the nose. There you go. And then if it's a girl, obviously she gets some glitter. Or a boy, there's no rules, right? Uh, yeah, no rules. And she would be good to go. You can use poofer glitter, or you can use the glitter in the jar like Yeah, I uses. like the glitter jar myself. And there's her girl side. You can open your eyes, Adriana. And there's her fear side. Ah, <laughs> All right, so that's our Triceratops. Easy, breezy, peasy. All of you can do Cover it. Cover girl. <laughs> <laughs> we covered her, girl. Okay, and I'm going to stop this tutorial now.